Good morning, MGV. It's Mrs. Lark, and today is Thursday, April 9th, and it's time for us to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. This morning and all this week, we are singing God Bless America. So please join in. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Thank you so much for singing with me, boys and girls. And you might have noticed uh, many of the flags in the area have been brought down to half staff as we honor and remember all those that we've lost during this crisis. So if you notice that, that is the reason they are down. Also today, um, I want to wish a very happy and wonderful Passover to all our families who are celebrating. I know uh, you began last night at sundown and will continue for the week. And we want to make sure we have um, a shout out and wishing well to everyone who is celebrating the holiday of Passover. Boys and girls, yesterday was uh, way back Wednesday, and I know many of you got a kick out of what your teachers and our staff members looked like from way back. So hopefully you got a, a look at the answer video. That's almost a game in and of itself. You can sort of try to guess before the video moves from the way back version to the present version. I also have at the end of our morning of announcements the answers to um, uh, Mr. Barrett's puzzle, which were the towns around Long Island. I am sure many of you needed some help from the adults, and the adults might have had to look some things up too. Um, they're quite clever, and those are puzzles that have been around for a long time. You'll see all different kinds of those. So that was a little bit of a challenge. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much to those who uh, submitted those to me. I love uh, seeing any messages from you boys and girls. If you haven't joined my Google Classroom, please uh, feel free to do that. I do have my own under uh, Good Morning MGV, and many students have joined. So if you haven't joined yet, please feel free to sign up for the uh, Good Morning MGV Google Classroom. Now, boys and girls, today is a Thankful Thursday, and we want to think about what we are thankful for and who, in particular, we are thankful for. Now, today I'm going to ask you um, if you are able to to do a picture again. Today I made a little uh, sign that I am writing and what I am thankful for, and that's I am thankful for my students and all the people that work at MGV. I'm missing all of them. Yesterday I actually got to talk to all of the paraprofessionals, the cafeteria aides, the secretaries, and our door monitors, and I want to share with you how much they are missing you as well. So uh, MGV is a big part of a lot of people's lives. So um, not just you boys and girls are missing school, the grown-ups are missing it as well. So think about who you're thankful for today. Write it down if someone can take your picture and send it in to me. Um, you can do that and I'll be happy to see them and happy to post them tomorrow after the morning announcements. Also, we have some birthdays today on April 9th. We have Lainey, excuse me, whose birthday is uh, today and she is in fifth grade. And yes, Lainey, you're gonna get the glasses. I only got one hand, but I'm gonna get them on. 
happy birthday, but it's also Nelson's birthday in first grade. So happy birthday to you, Nelson. Have a little happy birthday today. I haven't done that in a couple of days. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my MGV students. Happy birthday to you. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, please look for some pictures at the end of the morning announcements as well as the answers as I mentioned to you for um, the puzzle. Also yesterday I had a trivia question and several people got it right. The store is across the street. That's why I sort of have our old sign up here that says Deer Park Avenue Elementary School. Well even before it was Deer Park Elementary Deer Park Avenue Elementary School, we were called the North Babylon School, and across the street was called the Annex. And the Annex housed classrooms, kindergarten and elementary classrooms across the street. Um, so actually in those stores were originally classrooms um, where students went to school. And they were directly connected to our building. They were part of our school. So something maybe you didn't know. All right, it has been um, wonderful spending the morning with you. I love seeing and doing this every day. I hope you're enjoying it, and I look forward to tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everyone. We continue to celebrate our heroes in our family and our community. Michael and Matthew's heroes are their dad, who is in the North Babylon Fire Department as a chief, and, and their aunt Christina, who works at Southside Hospital as a cardiovascular profusionist. Let's give them a round of applause.